Good morning. Hopefully this is good morning lighting. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to Sarah Marshall Carroll. Um, this is for August 30th. Um, what we're going to do is um, pick five charms. And there's going to be a card to go with the charm. Okay. Um, but like I've stated before, and you know, maybe you're new here. Um, I would like you to watch the whole thing because this is all relevant. Um, just because you pick your own card doesn't mean that the others don't apply. Okay. And if you plan back, you know, we get to know each other through these readings. So let's go down to it. Alright, I'm going to go with the pearl. Pain. Um, I'll do a teacup. So whatever one sticks out to you. Don't think too hard about it. Let's do the mask. Masquerade. I like this one. Let's do the little trinket ones. Okay, let's do the flower too. The little yellow flower. And then we'll do this one. Okay. All right. So I don't know if you can see those, but got the pearl, the teacup, the mask, the little yellow flower, and then this little blue stone. <laughs> so I took my tongue. My bad. All right. Anyways, let me think about it. I'm gonna draw the cards. Temperance is coming back. The pearl gets tempers. Three of wands. Or the teacup. The mask gets nine of swords. The little yellow flower gets the chariot. And the blue stone gets my sky again. <laughs> King of Cups. Okay. Must be back. I wonder if these are the same people getting these cards. All right. Okay, so temperance. Remember, temperance is um like old issues that you thought you um were done with and had completed are coming back up. All right. I'm also turning um, negative situations into positive ones. Okay. Um, this could indicate a deeply penetrating spiritual experience as well. I feel like these issues coming up for some of you could like test you to your very core. Okay. So if that's you, keep coming back every day because, you know, we'll help you. We'll get through this together. All right. That was for the pearl. So the teacup is eight of wands. Which, the Eight of Wands, okay, anything over a Three of Wands indicates that um, whatever is taking place is only most likely in the realm of thought, okay? Um, but it's also it also indicates happening fast, okay? You can understand that. Um, like, you want to you want to speed up and settle a matter of concern, okay? Um, um, this could also indicate somebody coming in and changing your realm of thought, okay? And, you know, just... Um, Mm, causing you to make to think about making changes to whatever you're doing now type of thing. Mm -hmm. So that's for the teacup. Okay, and then with the nine of swords, this is like um, being separated from somebody. Okay, okay, this okay, this indicates um, like discord, um, suffering um, inside because of something like um, something some something that was aborted. Um, at the moment of conception, okay, like, um, something you were doing just fell apart, all right? Um, it's all, you know, indicates being separated from a partner, worrying about a partner, um, possibly, um, having to choose between two people, okay, um, is what I'm trying to get at, so that's the mask. Oh, that's good, right? All right, I think we're getting somewhere, all right, so next up. The chariots, okay, this indicates um, a period, this indicates a period of um, introspection and solitude, okay, um, you're going to be doing a lot of thinking, you know, this will make you re-examine things in your life and um, questions like, should I do this or that, is this this or that, or um, will this work out or not, okay, um, it also indicates maybe um, not knowing what you're doing or where you're going and um, you just feel like you're out of control, and also that you want to force a resolution and you don't know how, okay. So I like you. That's the 
little yellow flower. All right. Turquoise? Is that turquoise the stone? I'm going to call it a turquoise. I think that's what it is. Okay, so Kia Cups is a turquoise stone, right? Okay, this is um, activities um, that have to do with your home and your business, possibly a home from your business, okay? Um, but even though your, your main objective is um, about your business, um, your thoughts are mostly on like your, your, um, your personal life and your family and stuff. Or if you're single, it could be on like daydreaming about love and romance, okay? Um, you want possibly, possibly want somebody to spend time with and love and, you know, um, make love to and this and that, right? So, um, yeah, does that sound like you? That's for the turquoise stone. Details, right? Details. With the temperance, um, with details, this is um, wanting um, spiritual assistance. You're looking for something that which can't be seen, okay? You're reaching through the realm of spirituality um, for help um, solving a problem, possibly, okay? Um, or looking for a solution, okay? Um, so hopefully we can do that together. Okay. And this also could indicate um, somebody coming back into your life and coming right back out. Like, um, maybe um, a past love and um, just coming back in and going right back out, like closing the chapter, like for good type thing. It's also um, an indication of um, just kind of everything going out on the fritz, okay? Like, you know how things happen in threes or whatever. So um, electrical appliances and this and that. So just kind of be extra careful with those right now. All right. Okay. You could also um, feel slighted and hurt because um, your partner, so this is for somebody, um, your partner is not holding up to his or her end or bargain, okay? Um, like they're not including you in their plans, Okay. I also get a feeling of um, your family and friends being there for you for, during this time, okay? And um, also your happiness, uh, you're going to get some kind of toy for yourself, okay? So whatever you're thinking, go buy that for yourself, okay? And the good thing is, is you will inherit um, spiritual encouragement. This card says so. And the, Okay, and luck will be with you um, in um, turning negative um, situations into positive ones. So for like... Um, a friend or a boss, something of the sort, um, you're going to be thankful for some, that kind of person in your life, um, loving you, okay, and um, being generous with you during this time. There might be many unforeseen um, things, happen, expected events, okay, but they are going to neutralize, they are going to settle. Just remember, there's always a positive end in sight, even though we can't see that there always is, okay? For most of you, what you're experiencing is a clash, okay, between old and and it's like a chemical, it's like a, it's like a physical chemical reaction in your body, in your mind. And this is caused by a new action. Okay. And don't fear this because it's actually supposed to be happening. Okay. Um, because without what's happening inside you, change can't happen. It's part of the process. Basically work on yourself and don't be afraid of the demons that are coming out. Okay. And if you need verification or understanding, ask for it. Okay. So I'll be here every day. You can come here if you need, you know, if this helps you. Okay. So that was Temperance Pearl. This is um, the Eight of Wands teacup. Okay, so the Eight of Wands, this indicates a lot of um, activity. Okay, there's going to be a lot of activity, mostly away from your home. Okay, okay, and then this also could indicate a desire to um, move and live by the water for some of you. Okay, and then also um, some of you could be traveling, like for work or whatever. And if there's problems related to travel, they're going to be settled in a positive way. You may be running into... Um, problems with papers legally like le legal papers okay and as far as like unions okay um, you're not going to be able to get what you want out of a relationship so i'm wondering if this is the same person that's been in the last two readings you know what i mean okay so if that's you um this is telling you that you're not going to get what you want out of a relationship okay um you're this also indicates corresponding with somebody out of state, okay? It also indicates I'm a persuasive suitor, okay? So um, if you're already involved, be careful with that, okay? Okay, so on a positive note, this indicates that conditions are going to change for the better, okay? Um, due to um, good fortune or fate, okay? But it's still up to you, right? And then also, um, luck could be with you finding some kind of product that you need, if that pertains to you. Okay, and this also indicates... Um, like a new agent or promoter for some of you too. Like you're going to get um, somebody like that in your life um, soon. Okay, so this is telling me that um, you're approaching your goal, but 
Nothing is yet final. Okay, and don't be anxious about what's going on. Okay, the universe knows what things you are in need of. What you want has already been established. And you will be led into it or it will come to you. Okay, so um, how do we get there? Um, taking more responsibility, more initiative, and more accountability for your results. Okay? Leave home if necessary. Do some shopping um, around. Okay? And, um, and don't be afraid to take a chance on yourself. And, um, and make yourself more available to others. Okay? So things are set in motion, but they are not grounded. But they are going to lead to success. Just keep doing the right, next right thing. Okay. okay. Let's go to the mask. The mask gets in the Nine of Swords. Okay, with the Nine of Swords, this um, could indicate a um, new income coming through um, some sort of papers, letters, books, or mail. Okay. Um, this also indicates being separated from the one you love. Or something of the sort, okay? Or um, and also um, insomnia. Pause. This also indicates um, you're going to inherit in, um, spiritual guidance, okay, from somewhere. So hopefully, you know, you can get that here as well. Just keep coming back, okay? Um, I also feel like um, you think everything is over. I'm assuming it's a relationship, okay? But I feel like you're going to have a change of heart. So that's wonderful to hear. Okay. Um, for some of you, you're going um, to be very grateful in a new venture involving papers of some sort, okay? Okay, so this is telling me that you're going to have good fortune later, okay? Um, time will, will prove to be your advantage, okay? You will get what you want after all. Um, what looks like failure or loss is actually an opportunity to grow, okay? Do you get that? Like... If you're stuck, okay, if I'm talking to the person from the last two readings as far as um, they're sing, you know, um, being in between, torn between two loves, I'm assuming maybe that could be, okay, um, and I'm applying this to that, okay, um, okay, um, if your relationship, if you were stuck in the relationship, okay, and it wasn't going anywhere, and you went somewhere else, okay, and, and this is telling you that... Um, you know, and everybody else listening, that that doesn't apply. Just apply it to your situation, okay? Um, that, okay, it looks like a loss or failure, okay? But it's actually an opportunity. So you have an opportunity here to grow that relationship, okay? And that's going to be the breakdown. That's going to be you coming clean. That's going to be you breaking down. That's going to be both of you breaking down. And what happens when things happen like that. That's like a tragic accident happening. What happens when tra tragic accidents happen? You know what I mean? Like, if you go on YouTube and you see, like, car crashes where people are standing by, people run, they just all of a sudden come together and love each other out of nowhere, right? That's the same thing in a relationship. If you have, oh, two, be a man and come clean and save your relationship, <laughs> not only... Will you grow? Okay. There's a slight chance it may fail. Okay. But maybe not. And if it doesn't, you're not only going to grow, but you're going to jump to a higher level and be rewarded for that. Okay. If you go this other direction, good luck, sir. Okay. Also indicates to wait for things to resolve themselves for some of you. Okay. And um, wherever that may land. This, this also indicates having a new, a new state of consciousness because of a new venture for some of you, a new partner for some of you, or a new lover for some of you. So sometimes people come into our lives to stir shit up, okay? To save something is, okay? It's a chariot. And also what I wanted to say about that last reading was that um, if you didn't pick that card, it doesn't matter, right? Because like I said at the beginning, this can all apply to you, okay? I'm just... I remember the readings, okay? I'm trying to remember the readings as if people are coming back, because I really hope you do. And if you're just getting here and it makes sense, you might want to go back and watch it, um, because you might get a lot more information that make more, even more sense as we move along, okay? So, um, the chariot. Okay, so with the chariot, I'm feeling like something happened that wasn't your fault. 
but you're the one that's having to live with it. Like, um, I don't know what that is, okay? Um, you're frustrated, confused, um, upset. Or you push or resist, the, only, the worse it'll get, okay? Um, so here's the thing. Whatever this is, okay, whatever the situation is, let go. Whatever that means, okay, just let go. Um, whenever it comes to mind, let it go. Do something positive, okay? You'd be amazed at how things actually do just disappear, <laughs> okay? Um, this could also indicate in, um, going out and flirting and having fun, okay? Like, I think it's a choice here. Do you want to, um, do you want to live in this crap that's happened to you that was unjust and unfair? It's only making it worse, right? So just forget it and move on, okay? I know it's not always possible because there could be other situations going on along with that. But the best you can, keep living your life and keep, you know, being positive. Right? But at the same time, I also have a feeling that you need to slow down. Slow down. Take a mental break. I feel like you might be coming into physical exhaustion soon. Okay, so just slow down and take a break. Let it go. Take a nice warm bath. Light some candles. Do the things that you don't normally do because, you know, we're fighters, right? We just keep fighting. Spoiler, spoil yourself for a day, you know? Even if that means just taking a bath. Sometimes that's just spoiling yourself, you know? We are, sometimes we're busy. Like, we just get busy, right? So I'm also getting that there's some kind of argument with a relative or friend. Okay, something that you're taking really much to heart. Okay, this is telling me that don't worry, it's gonna work out. Okay, so maybe let it go. Because remember, if you remember from one of the last readings when I was talking about um, when you let go and let God, okay, or your higher power. Okay, um, when we try to keep making a situation the way we think it should, or we keep battling in it, or we keep doing whatever, okay, it's still energy, and you're wrapping it up, it's like, it's like trying to get a knot out, but all you're doing is making the knot bigger, okay, so, um, when we call on God, okay, to help us with our problems, it's like he physically has to come in and move our energy lines around, okay, and help us figure it out. Now, if you're Making it worse, it makes it harder, okay? So just relax and let God do it. Because it you really can't, okay? Um, I also feel like um, for some of you, you might be considering a new partner. Um, you know, or somebody that's come in and uh, like, what would it be like, right? Um, Okay, and the message here is um, your best success will come through. Um, your best success will come through. Um, keep going for it, okay. and then taking a rest when needed. Okay, so just like we said, we talked about. Okay, and while you're resting in that, that's when you let go and let go. Okay, you, you'd be amazed at what can happen, right? Like um, someone, some of you might have someone present you with an opportunity okay. concerning your home or place of business. It's a very enticing, you know, opportunity. Okay. And this could open up a whole new world for you and increase your income substantially, okay, but the choice will be up to you. If you do all this, you will be grateful for uh, the things that are working out better than anticipated and of their own accord, okay? So just try it. All right, King of Cups. Okay, with him right now, I feel like there's no conversations with family or... I feel like there's difficulty with partners in in your life or your family's life. And so there's going to be conversations with your family of this. And um, they will be considering moving in with you or you'll be considering moving in with them. Like you have a choice to make, okay? Like I feel like somebody in your family may be possibly separating from somebody or that could be you, okay? I also feel like there, you, you might be starting a business from your home. Or something you can do out of your home, okay? Um, I'm also being told, too, 
remind you to take care of um, any negotiations that have to do with this before, before, before you get started, or there will be misunderstandings, okay? Um, someone will seek you out or arrive unexpectedly, okay? Are going to look much better on the horizon, okay? And all new arrangements will work out better for everybody involved, okay? A disagreeable, uh, a disagreeable situation and negative condition is going to come to an end with this, okay? Problems in the home or with your family will begin to eat, but your desire for love is will increase, okay? So what's going to happen? You're going to find some kind of occupational outlet, something that will augment your, your talents and um, enhance your position. The recommendation here is exercising your personal integrity, okay? Um, having the courage to ask for what you want. And you are going to receive um, a response or go ahead um, in reply to uh, a business query, okay, um, about a financial matter. So that's good. Also, you're going to find something that you want or need right in your backyard. This is also just being grateful. Grateful for the food on, food on your plate, the clothes on your back, okay? So, I don't know. You're just a humble man. I can feel that. You're going to be fine. And come see me every day, because I love your energy. <laughs> All right, so let's move on to the clairvoyant reading, okay? We're going to start with the pearl. Okay. I feel like your person has a lot of energy, okay? But there's somebody around you who is making you spend more energy than necessary. Um, like, I feel like they need to make their, themselves more available. Like, you're wasting your energy unnecessarily. I also get a feeling that you have a very aggressive instinct um, in business, okay, um, which is really good. The power that you have is very respectable, okay, and you know how to reign over, over your uh, entourage, right? And um, I feel like um, if people don't fear you, if somebody doesn't fear you, <laughs> it's because they don't. I feel like for, for um, somebody here, there's um, a woman that has fallen for somebody's charms, okay, and it could be the one in your neighborhood. Um, I feel like you have heard of this man Okay, um, so she's very embarrassed about it, and she might need help getting away from this man. I don't really know what's going on. I feel like you've always been really healthy, okay, um, and, and resistant to um, any really health problems, okay, but I feel like, um, I don't know if it's age or what, but I feel like that's not really the case now, um, and so, you know, um, I'm getting, like, you really, this is kind of an urgency, okay? You really need to get into shape now. I don't know what's going on, but you need to get into shape now. And the way in which I'm seeing it is like going and traveling the world, okay? Or getting out into the world. Go, go explore, okay? That's how you're supposed to get in shape, I guess, is like exploring whatever, whoever that's for, okay? Um, there's somebody that, um, there's, okay, there's somebody in, in, in your business or whatever that um that is ruining or could ruin one of your projects okay um deep down or you may have an inkling about who this might be okay they make promises that they don't keep um they may have moved recently or changed location um or they might do so soon and their whole purpose of this is that they're trying to sneak away okay so um just be leery of um if you have an inkling about somebody that's okay so let's go into the teacup Okay. The first thing I'm getting is I feel like you're, you might have some, some sort of secret relationship, okay? And it's not like um, an immoral relationship, but it's not accepted like um, by a lot of people, so you have to keep quiet about it. And this could be due to religion or politics or something of the sort. Um, because I see you doing like a little rendezvous and you have to kind of lie about it to people and they're like, just like thinking... Like, what's up with this bizarre behavior, right? Okay, but um, what I'm getting with this is um, to be careful on it with who you um, confide in, okay? Like, I feel like there's somebody you might confide in that you think you can trust that you can't, okay? So maybe just not confide in anybody, I would say, all right? Um, I also feel like a teenage girl around you, but she's very, very, very smart. And, um, and she, she has a powerful memory. She's just impeccable memory. Okay, she's a young teen, and um, she's down for, you know, like her, she's going to be something. She's a healer. She um, she can cure. 
Um, yeah, she's just, um, she's going to be something really special, okay? Okay, I'm also picking up on, um, okay, there's somebody that you're successful with, I guess, in a sense. There's something that you're doing with somebody else. Probably the, both of it's the opposite sex, okay? And, um, and you're successful with this person. Now, there's somebody who's in love with that person that's extremely jealous, okay? And they're pretty strong and powerful. And I feel like they may be spying on you or watching you or something, and they want to devalue you in the eyes of this other person. So just be careful of that because, um, I don't know. I feel like they're just going to, if they haven't started already, they're going to, you know, they're going to have some, like, weird attacks from this person. And so um, the... the the message here is to um, just be cool, keep calm, keep your composure, and don't respond. Okay, don't respond. All right, so let's go to the mask. Okay, now, immediately, okay, I'm feeling um, a female from the other side, okay, and this is some type of being that has special privilege to come and tell you this, okay? So this isn't to be taken lightly because um, this is like their last way. This is like your last warning, okay? Um, so I feel like this could be like from the last reading of, um, okay, this female being is warning you of some sort of financial scam or um, fraud, okay, that is going to wipe out all of your projects, okay? This, this is like your last warning, okay? And so I think she came through to, um, you know, just this is it, okay? Um, like, and... and that's not easy, you know, that, they, they have that special privilege um, to do that, okay? So I would consider yourself lucky. I also feel some, it's weird, I feel like some sort of special invitation, or in an invitation with a well-known public figure. And I feel like this invitation or something, there's some sort of, like, connection, or it's, like, through somebody, a third party, okay? And the third party is somebody who... Um, really needs a ch to change their life right now, um, like maybe going through a divorce or something. Um, but that person's going to bring this meeting together or something of this sort. Okay, I don't really know what that's about. Yeah, so this meeting is um, unclear to you, um, and it will become more clear, um, you know, as time goes on, like in a couple weeks or something. So this is something down the road, but like, I don't know. A little yellow flower. Okay, I feel like this person might be from the last reading. Um, where, um, where I told you that um, to let your significant other open up and open the flower, right? Let them open up. Okay, that, so that makes sense. Um, because now I'm getting a feeling of um, whether you um, acted in good faith or not, you committed a fundamental error in your relationship. I feel like um, you're a really sensitive person, okay? And, and, and you have certain ways about you, okay? But don't let that hinder your love life, okay? Assume responsibility, okay? Because it's okay to be wrong. Um, assume responsibility and um, seek forgiveness because if you don't, for some reason, this is going to be detrimental, okay? So you need to seek forgiveness and you need to admit that you're wrong. I feel like your principles, okay? I feel like your principles are too uncompromising, okay? So you need to just relax your principles a little bit, let her open up, okay? Um, you know, just you need, if you can open up a little bit, she will bloom and just blossom, you know? And you need to let her do this. I mean, it's not fair to not let somebody bloom, okay? Or if you cannot, then you've got to let them go, right? But I feel like... You guys are together because of this. So, like, you're supposed to learn a lesson in this and learn a different way, okay? And um, and once you do that, you're going to um, open up a whole new, like, book of love, okay? Um, like, literally. So, just know that um, that's up to you, okay? Um, know that you can do it. If, if you don't do it, that book will never open, okay? Um, I also feel like um, someone has gone astray. I don't know if it's the same person or not that we're speaking of, but I feel like somebody has left um, to find themselves, okay? And they went on like a spiritual journey to go find themselves. Um, I also believe that they were um, following false information, okay? Um, they were led astray um, and went down a false path, okay, and they realized that once once they got there, okay, and they're on their way back if they're not back already, okay, so you need to comfort this person, accept this person, okay, because I feel like, um, I feel like, um, I don't know, 
some way or another you understand what this person is going through, like you've been there before, or something of the sort, okay? So, um, so the message for some of you is like, don't be a hypocrite, okay? You need to come for this person and, um, and understand because you've been there too. So just admit that to yourself. And then some of you, it's just, um, it's, um, but the message here is you've been here too, don't you remember? That's the message that I'm getting. All right, uh, let's go to the turquoise. woman is suffering an injustice, okay? There's some kind of injustice going on, and you are trying to deal with this and take care of it, and you can't, you feel like you're spinning your wheels because you cannot get anywhere because, um, and you would like to help more, but it's like, uh, the, the emotions that need to be set, um, to go, um, are, are blocked by, uh, certain people, okay, and you know this, and I think you're trying to get help on this, okay, and I feel like it's the authority, okay, some, some kind of authority, it's like the necessary next step is being blocked, okay, you might have help of a close relative concerning this, in a sense, that may, I feel like, um, this, is, this, um, this was like a major blow in your life, okay? And um, and so somebody possibly had to take you in and help you, okay? And the message I'm getting here is um, not to feel guilty, okay? You absolutely should not feel guilty. Um, it's not your fault. You know it's not your fault. And actually, the, the position that you're in right now is caused by um, a man who, um, who harmed you, okay? And I don't know if this man has to do with I wonder if this is Carla. Carla, if you're watching, <laughs> I just, okay, so, um, I think I know who this is for and she's watching, so, all right, um, we're going to get there. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Okay. Um, let's do pendulum. All right, so we're going to repick, um, your charms if you want, okay? You can pick the same one or you can pick a different one. Um, linear guess and a pendulum, okay? So we have the pearl, teacup, um, teacup. Mask, and a flower, and turquoise, okay, so let's start with, um, let's do a little turquoise, okay, um, we're gonna, I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna do it, so, um, if you're not ready, pause the video, look at your question, and then, um, let me, oh, okay, I messed it up, I almost forgot I had this cool way of doing this, right, okay, so, uh, let's do this with turquoise, right? Um, while you're looking, let's do a pinky question. And let's go. That's a yes. Perfect. Let's pick a little flower. While you're looking, look at your question. And let's go. Yes, okay, let's do the mask. While you're looking, think of your question. And let's go. That's a no. Okay, um, teacup. question while you're looking. And let's go. Okay, that's a no. Alright you guys, I will see you in a little bit. I gotta do another video for you.